Hello everyone and welcome back to Check Out Gestra. Today I want to show you our highly sophisticated steam trap measuring unit, the VKP41+. Steam traps are an important part of the overall production system. If one or more steam traps fail, this reduces the production system's availability and efficiency. Regular testing of the steam traps will enable you to ensure the optimum availability of your production system. When steam is used in production, casts are incurred for fuel, water and treating the water. Today, keeping an eye on the CO2 emissions is increasingly important and the cost of this can currently only be estimated. However, if a steam trap is not working correctly, we are losing our generated steam to the open air, which will lead to more costs. We really have to prevent this by using the VKP41+. Let's take a look on the working principle. The VKP41 system consists out of three components. We have the measuring probes that will take the signals from the steam trap's body surface. So we are sensing the ultrasonic noise level via the surface and we're comparing it with a temperature sensing. So we also have a PT100 unit included, and we are always comparing the sound level, the sound level, the ultrasonic sound to the corresponding temperature of the system. We will have the COM box, and the COM box is now transmitting the signals to the data collector. The data collector will now give us in clear information whether the steam trap is working fine or not. All right, let's give it a try. What we got here is an MK45 thermostatic steam trap discharging the condensate coming from our heat exchanger. It's a capsule type steam trap that is working in an intermittent way. So it is opening and closing depending on the amount of condensate coming through the steam trap. We want to now figure out whether the steam trap is doing fine or not. So we'll use our VKP41 Plus to check the condition of the steam trap. I will now take the measuring probe and now sense the ultrasonic noise level and the temperature over the, uh, BK's, uh, over the MK's body surface. So I'll just have to press it hard enough and now the measuring starts. So we can see on the left side at the data collector that we have the sound level that is um, yeah, detected immediately. Now after 10 seconds the measurement stops because we already get our result that the MK is doing absolutely fine. We have here a red line and a green line. The green line says that we are below a noise level that would appear if we have any media running through our steam trap. If we have the red line, then we have steam flowing, but in our case, we can see it here, it was only flash steam. Because in between, the steam trap was closed, which is very good. A closed steam trap is a good steam trap. We are not losing any live steam. So, we just saw how a good working steam trap would look like in our data collector. We now want to show you how it looks like when we have steam losses. So we now got here a ball valve and we want to open this ball valve just a little bit to create small steam losses. So let's do it. We we'll just open it quite a bit. And if we are now sensing the noise level, we will see a different result. So we are way above the red line. And the red line is indicated we are in a suspicious um, ultrasonic noise level and we are always above the red line. We now can be sure that we have steam losses and we should exchange our steam trap. So we now found a suspicious valve or steam trap. But we cannot just say, okay, here's a faulty steam trap we have to make a foreign noise test. We really have to check, does the sound really come from the valves or steam trap, or does it come from somewhere else? So we will compare the measured value, the mean value, with the measurement now. So I'm measuring again, and the value that I'm measuring is close to the measurement value I did before. So we have to now go to another place, close to the valve, to check whether we have the same noise level there. Foreign noises could be emitted by a pressure reducing station or a pump. I'm measuring here at the pipeline and I'm measuring a much lower value, which is telling us, okay, the sound really comes out of the valve and not via the pipeline system. I have to replace 
the steam trap or the valve. So I would just press on no for foreign noises, which is now giving us the result defective, the steam trap has to be replaced. The VKP41 Plus is the perfect steam trap measuring device because it is able to measure all different kinds of steam traps in the market and it doesn't matter whether it's a thermodynamic, a thermostatic, a ball float or an inverted bucket steam trap. It is a system with the highest reliability, tested and proven by an independent third-party company. One of the biggest advantages is that we can save all the results and maybe after one year we can repeat the test and then we can check again in which sections of the plant we will have damaged steam traps and in which sections everything is fine. So we can create some kind of metadata to check the availability and the efficiency over the whole plant. Thank you for listening and see you next time on Checkout Gastro.